Why can a neutrino pass through solid objects? Neutrinos are interesting particles. They behave almost as if they were magical. If you imagine the world of Harry Potter, neutrinos are like the wizards, while particles like electrons are just regular people or muggles. If muggles try to walk through the barrier at King's Cross Station to get to platform 9 and 3 quarters, they can't, because the wall is solid to them, the same way a wall is solid to an electron. Electrons, walls and muggles all feel and interact through the electromagnetic force, but neutrinos interact using a different fundamental force, called the weak force. They don't care much if there are atoms around. Much like Harry Potter and other wizards, the neutrinos casually waltz through the wall. The neutrinos are so good at this, they pass through almost everything. Trillions stream through you every second without interacting. So many people will ask, how do we even know they exist? Some particles decay and emit other particles, but scientists noticed that the energy of these new particles emerging didn't add up to the correct amount. And the only way to explain it was if there was an additional invisible particle carrying some of the energy away. These were the neutrinos. And while they typically pass through things unnoticed, they sometimes do get close enough to an atomic nucleus to interact via the weak force. A neutrino with more energy is more likely to interact, but this is still very rare. About 1 in every 10 to the 18 times, that's once every thousand quadrillion, that a neutrino is close enough to interact, it actually does. It's kind of like driving past a Starbucks. You might see many as you drive through town, but you don't stop and purchase something every time. On those rare times when neutrinos interact, detectors still don't see the actual neutrinos themselves. Instead, they see particles that emerge from the interaction. Much like you might figure out that there's a Starbucks nearby by seeing a group of people on the street drinking out of Starbucks cups. It takes a lot of detective work to learn about these magical particles. And by conducting precise experiments on them, scientists hope to better understand the properties of neutrinos and how they fit into our universe.